Do 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 do. Elmo's world. Elmo's world. Hello, boys and girls. Miss Angela here, and it is day 90. 90 days of drawing together. Can you believe it? Every single day for 90 days, we have been together and drawn right here. Now, if you've ever questioned, I wonder if Miss Angela likes to do this. I wonder if she loves being with us. Today, I am proving how much I love you because this, boys and girls, is not a wig. I just had my daughter go out in the backyard and spray my hair bright red. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping it comes out with a shower or tomorrow you'll see me with red hair again. So, we are going to draw our friend Elmo from Sesame Street. Do not ever think Elmo is babyish because Elmo is one of the coolest, coolest characters there are. So grab those paper, those pencils, those crayons, those colored pencils, those markers, get them and let's start drawing today. Look at this, even my fingers are still red from my hair. Okay, so grab those. We're really only gonna need about three colors today, but get them out because we're gonna need orange, red, white and black actually white the paper's white so we're doing okay all right are you ready to start let's turn this down and we are going to move our board in really close so we could draw elmo and let's get going the first thing we're going to do on elmo is we're going to do his big nose okay we're going to put his nose we're going to draw elmo over on this side of the paper because we want to make him waving so right here it's going to be a big egg shape do 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 Elmo's world. I'll be singing that song all day today. So we got a big old round Elmo nose. Now up here he's got two eyes. So we're gonna draw them. We're gonna connect them. They're gonna touch to the nose. We're gonna make a big circle, just like that. And then we're gonna put another one that almost touches, but not quite. Kind of looks like a little mouse, like the head of a mouse with his two ears but it's really Elmo. Keep drawing, keep drawing. Inside of Elmo's eyes, he's got these big black circles. So we're gonna draw them right here like this. And let's go ahead and color them in while we're here. There's one colored in. And then let's do the other one right here. There we go. We have got the shape of Elmo. This is just like what's on my head right there. Now let's do his fur. Now we don't want to draw just straight lines around. We want to make it look like fur. So we're going to do little spiky edges. So we're going to make his face kind of go just around like that. And I am going to do, but we'll do it spiky. Just like that, do you see? And then let's come down the other side. Looks a little bit like Cookie Monster. Maybe, maybe I'll draw, I'll dye my hair blue someday so I can be Cookie Monster. You just wait and see. That'll really show you I love you if I dye my hair blue. Okay, now let's go down and it doesn't have to be quite as furry on the bottom. And let's connect that. So we got a nice big round head. Now we're even going to add a little bit there between the eyes because we see some of his hair behind his eyes. Let's do, give him a big Elmo smile. So we're gonna put a big line right across here. Got it? And then a big loop that's almost gonna come down to the bottom of his face and up again. And there you go, you've got Elmo's mouth. I'm gonna color it in very quickly. Um, take your time though, I want you to color it in a little better than this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get that color in there since I'm right here because I tend to sometimes I forget, I get talking and I get silly and then I forget and I finish the drawing and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot to give like, uh, what was it? I'm trying to think, we did Fred Flintstone, I forgot to give him an ear. So, we're going to just color this in all the way. Now we have got Elmo's a big a smiley face. It looks like Elmo already. Now the rest of it's kind of easy. We're gonna put his body in. So he's gonna be kind of, oh, I'm trying to think. Let's have him so he's kind of off the thing. Let's, let's do his, his hand, a big waving hand over here. So we're gonna do it again. You wanna do it just kind of bumpy because we want it to look like fur. Let's give him a big bumpy thumb and then we'll give him some fingers. Two, three, and four. Four fingers and a thumb. And then we'll go down, we'll connect to his body, just like that. 
And how about we come down just like this and we'll have another hand maybe going off of the paper. And then his body just like that. There you go. You have Elmo. It was very, very simple. Oh my gosh, I hope this stuff comes out of my hair. I hate to get distracted, but oh my gosh, I'm looking at myself thinking, oh boy, oh boy. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to leave his eyes the way they are. His mouth is going to stay black like that. His nose is going to be bright orange. So let's go ahead and color in his nose. Nice and orange. He's kind of a... Well, it could be a bright orange, it could be a light orange, whatever you've got in your crayon box. You might be running out of crayons by now. I don't know. I know mine are getting really low. I'm getting less and less of them, so I'm going to have to go out shopping and get myself some new supplies. All right, we got his big red nose. Now we are going to do his beautiful fur. His beautiful fur is going to be in red. So we're going to start coloring. And you can take your time with this because this is all the colors we need today. Whoops, uh-oh, I'm breaking my, breaking my crayons or my pastels. I'm pushing too hard, I guess I'm trying to go too fast. So, I am sure all of you, no matter what your age is, have seen Sesame Street before. And I, these were always, he was always one of my favorite, Elmo. I liked the way he talked, he had that little voice and hello, oh, hello. So I really liked him. But I liked a lot of the characters on Sesame Street. I'm going to get that little part in between his eyes right there while I'm up there. Um, I liked Elmo. I liked Bert and Ernie too. For some reason, I really liked Ernie. Ernie was the silly one, wasn't he? The short little guy. And Bert was the taller guy. Yeah, they were one of my favorites. Cookie Monster was always pretty cool too, mainly because I like cookies too. So that probably is why. All right, my goodness, maybe I better not take so long coloring. All right, we got his head here. Oh my gosh, doesn't he look just like Elmo now? Just like Elmo. I would love to see your Elmos. And like I said, give it a try. Don't say, oh, Elmo, I, I haven't watched Elmo since I was a little tiny kid. Draw him anyway. Show me what you do. Show me how good you, are, you have gotten. After 90 days of drawing together, you should be pretty darn good at this drawing thing by now, huh? All right, let me get his thumb. Oh my gosh, I am just breaking this to pieces. I should have got a bigger one. I'm going to be down to something about that big by the time I'm done. I guess maybe I better just not worry so much about it being perfect, huh? Okay, we got a hand. We got his furry arm. And I'm just going to get a little scribbly here so I can get it, get it going. Now, if you want to, you can do a background in here or you can leave them just the way he is. Sometimes, I, have you ever seen like a speech bubble where people, where your cartoons are talking? You could even put a bubble coming out of his, his like a little, you put a little V and then you put a little bubble there and then you write anything you want him to be saying. And if you really wanted to, if you wanted him to be thinking, then you put circles, little circles, and then another bubble, and then you can put what he's thinking. A line means they're talking, and bubbles mean they're thinking. So you could have Elmo thinking anything you want. Anything. All right, folks. You know, <laughs> I might be here forever doing this, and I keep breaking. I keep breaking these. If I got nothing left, I'm working like with my fingernails here. All right, I have said it many times, almost probably 90, that I'm not coloring too well. I try to get it done so you don't have to sit here and watch me color. But I want you to take a lot more time coloring. And I will see you tomorrow. Now, I'm trying to think what tomorrow is, but I can't remember. But I'm going to have Cookie Monster. Oh, I think I remember what tomorrow is. Tomorrow is Minions. I like minions too. I, I like all this stuff. So join me tomorrow and we'll draw some minions together. So do what I tell you every day. You're going to miss me in 10 days, not telling you every single day. To be safe, to wash your hands, to listen to your parents, to be creative, <laughs> and to also to be kind to each other. Being kind is very important. And I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to be drawing some minions tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye now.